वट इज़ फाइव मेगा हर्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी बैंड फॉर वाई फाई और फॉर वायरलेस लैन सो लाइक वी डिस्कस्ड प्रीवियसली इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो अबाउट टू पॉइंट फोर गैगा हर्ट दैट इट गिव्स अस टोटल फोर्टीन चैनल एंड थ्री आर यूजेबल वॉट आर देयर रेंजेज सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट फाइव गैगा हर्ट्स फाइव गैगा हर्ट्स इट इज अ लिटल बिट इट हैज़ बीन अरेंज अ लिटल बिट डिफरेंटली एज कम्पेयर टू टू पॉइंट फोर गैगा हर्ट्स एंड दैट्स द कन्फ्यूजिंग पॉइंट फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स सो फाइव गैगा हर्ट्स टोटल इट्स दीज आर बैंड्स एंड दीज आर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बैंड्स एक्चुअली सो इफ वी सी द होल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ऑल फ्रीकुनसी रेंजेज और चैनल्स इन द फाइव गैगा हर्ट्स बैंड वी कैन सी दैट टोटली दीज आर फोर्टी फाइव चैनल्स राइट बट इफ वी सी द स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेंटी मेगा हर्ट्स चैनल्स दैन दीज आर टोटल ट्वेंटी फाइव and 24 out of it is usable usually we say that okay we have 24 channel so in the interview if you are asked that how many frequency bands do we have in 5 gigahertz the first answer should be 24 but you should remember that these are total 25 right so three out of these are further reserved in some countries which are called as tdwr these are usually for radar and all of those kind of communications so each channel width like 2.4 megahertz Uh, 2.4 gigahertz channel. Each channel width is 20 megahertz, which means that this channel number 36 it will start from 5170 and it will go up to 5190 megahertz, which means it is 20 megahertz wide, not 22. Usually we go with 20, right? And channel number it starts from 36, 40, 44, 48. And it has been divided into four groups, which are called as unlicensed. National Information Infrastructure Group Number One, Number Two A, Number Two C, and UNII Number Three. So totally four groups we can say generally, right? And these are the frequencies from where each group starts and where it ends. So here we have, if we see in terms of twenty megahertz standard channels, then totally we have twenty five channels. So channel number thirty six, forty, forty four, forty eight, and onwards up to one sixty five. But like I said, that the channels can be combined because somewhere it might be requirement because since we have enough space, so why don't we combine two small channels, two small channels, and make a one big channel of forty megahertz? So we can combine channel thirty six and forty and we can make a big 40 megahertz wide channel which is channel number 38 similarly so these are all the combinations then further we can if there is a requirement because we have enough space we have enough frequency band so we can combine to 40 megahertz and make 180 megahertz as well so this is also an interview point that can we combine two channels and make one channel in 5 gigahertz so we can say yes and it is common routine and when you go to your wifi router configuration in our lab part you know i have also created a practical lab for you guys in which i want you to configure wifi yourself install cisco packet tracer simulation software and over there you have to go with it right with the installation configuration and then the devices will be connected so over there you will see all of these configuration you will see when you will be doing with your own hands so it's very important to do that lab i'll give the lab part the topology wireless topology packet tracer topology and the pdf lab manual you guys can do it yourself so that you will have more idea about frequency bands so over there you will see that some router models they give you a provision to choose the channel width so if you choose 20 it will show you total 25 channels if you choose 40 megahertz it will give you less number of channel if you choose 80 megahertz it will give you only 6 if you choose 160 it will give you only two options right so this is the arrangement while this was not possible and it's not common routine in 2.4 gigahertz so your answer in the interview should be no and it's not although we can combine theoretically can be combined not a problem but we are already struggling with frequency channels non overlapping channels in 2.4 so it's not a good practice to make this frequency unavailability problem more severe so we directly use them and there is no need as well because these are low frequency channels they can travel long so why should we need more channel width but here since the frequency is high data rate is high but it cannot travel longer and then some other modulation issues as well 
which I don't want to go into much detail. In the next uh, videos, we will go into much details about uh, OFTM, about DSS, that how it affects the channel width, but it will be too technical. So multiple channels can be combined together. So the frequency bands have been divided into four groups and these are the frequency ranges. Another important point in 5 gigahertz band is that there is no space. In 2.4, you could see that there was a space of a small, small space between the channels, right? Co-channels, oh sorry, adjacent channels, a 5 megahertz space. But here, we don't need space because they are not overlapping, right? So you can see here, the first channel, channel number 36, it starts from 5170, goes up to 5190. And immediately after 5190, the next channel is starting. So between the end of 36 and start of 40, there is no space, right? The space is also not here, but it's a little bit of cushion, a little bit of buffer so that the next channel can move further. But here it's no needed. It's not needed because they are not overlapping with each other. So this is all about 5 gigahertz frequency band. In the next uh, videos, we will discuss about Wi-Fi signal strength and then as we move away from our Wi-Fi, how the signal strength decreases and how we can increase it some of the methods practically like if you are using a Wi-Fi router at home, how can you increase its range? So now it's questions time in the end again. I'll ask you one question. Please write your answer in the comment section below. So which Wi-Fi band covers long range? Is it 2.4 gigahertz channel band or is it 5 gigahertz band? Which of these gives you long range? Please write your answer in the comment section. Thank you for watching.